It's the time of year to bundle up. What do you think, Emma? Do you think that's a good one? Pick out a tree. Go ahead, you start cutting it down. And make time for tradition. Get it. Because despite the year of struggle, there are moments worth celebrating. What was that? Look at that. It's like, good job, Daddy. I so that. And in some places, life almost seems normal. Everything has been canceled or changed, or you can't do this or you can't do this. So the nice thing about our trees here is they're, they're planted at six feet apart, coincidentally. The Piper Mountain Christmas tree farm didn't plan for the pandemic. We got 30 acres of trees up here. But they're hoping families can find a small escape when they visit. People can spread out, uh, find their trees, stay safe. Um, and enjoy that kind of time together with their family, which is so important, I think, and particularly in a time like this. After retiring from the Navy, Mac McCullen and his wife Ann took over the farm. Favorite part of the run of the farm is, is quite honestly just being outside. It's a joy the McCullens were terrified of losing because of COVID-19. We weren't sure that people were going to show up. Uh, we were very pleased our first weekend to have a, a probably better than normal weekend, and it's kind of continued to be that way. Even our weekdays, which are typically pretty slow, two or three people here and there, uh, have been fairly steady. And it's not just at this farm. Demand for Christmas trees is skyrocketing all across the country. So much so that some farms are even seeing shortages. But thankfully at this farm, there was no shortage of trees or families coming to pick them out. I think it's a better idea, especially after this year, to support the local businesses. This is probably one of the best things we enjoy to do, uh, to stay together. I haven't been to get a tree anywhere else since I've been born. These simple moments, you ready Miss Kaylee? Are making sure the McCullen's legacy can live on. It's a huge relief because not only do we have, you know, to deal with COVID, but we're a seasonal business. Uh, people don't buy Christmas trees year round. Uh, so all of our sales happen okay. in the months of November and December. So if people didn't show up, oh my gosh, you know, we, we really would have a hard time surviving. I'm sorry, I get a little emotional about it because it's like, you know, it's just us. For my wife and I, uh, we don't have children. So our workers, the people that are here with us, support us, are our family. That's the emotional piece of it. Just being able to be, you know, in something together and to be able to create, you know, things that we know people enjoy. For those close enough to visit, taking home a Piper Mountain tree is a tradition they won't miss. Let's bring it around, we'll shake it out. Okay. Yeah, rotate it. We love a real Christmas tree. There's nothing like it. And it always feels like home to come here and get a tree. This year would be in memory of my mom, Gayla. Um, she used to love to come here. And actually, she's the main reason why we keep coming here. Um, we lost her about three years ago. And it's the only way to kind of, you know, keep her memory with us, really, because Christmas was her favorite time of year. And for more families than ever, this reminder of happiness, no matter how big or small, is one way to bring the joy of Christmas past into the present. For The Race, I'm Alexa Liaco.